Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Sargiono from the Tracing Patterns Foundation. We are a nonprofit organization promoting research in rural textiles. We are based in California, but we collaborate with scholars and institutions around the world. Today, I want to share one small aspect of Indonesia's long involvement with the maritime silk route, better known in Indonesia as the spice route. Let's start with this stone relief depicting a sailboat carved on Borobudur, the famous 8th century stupa in central Java. This image and the Borobudur itself are evidence of early contact between Indonesia and the outside world, which brought foreign ideas and religions as well as material goods. The spice route was the highway of the time for people traveling to and from India, the Middle East and China. These trips would require many months of layover in the archipelago due to the seasonal monsoons. Many goods that pass through this region can be found today in museums and archaeological sites. Unfortunately, textiles do not survive well in the hot and humid tropical climate. However, we can find evidence of trade textiles in the form of images. On the Sewu Temple, another 8th century Buddhist monument in central Java, there are 16 relief panels decorated with spectacular carved stone roundels, which were probably meant to suggest luxurious textiles. Each roundel contains a deer, a lion, or a flower. Note the circular disc around the roundels with an animal. These are reminiscent of the pearl roundel, a popular decorative motif on objects, especially textiles, and they were woven in large quantity in China and Central Asia and traded along the overland Silk Road. The flower roundel is equally interesting. It consists of a central rosette with eight smaller blossoms radiating outward. This arrangement recalls the floral medallion design of the Tang Dynasty, popularly used in textiles and non-textiles. A roundel pattern is also seen on the hip wrapper of a nymph depicted on the Siwa Temple at the Brahmanan Lower Jongram, a Hindu temple complex dated from the 9th to 10th century. A similar pattern layout is also used on several panels decorating the interior chamber of the Siwa Temple. In this case, the panels could also suggest woodwork. So, although there are no textiles that have survived in Indonesia from this early period, these stone images make direct and indirect references to imported patterns and textiles. They reflect the dynamism of ancient maritime trade, as well as the Javanese taste for novel objects and ideas.